something that you have repeatedly said about the Hawala channel and all mm. that. Yeah. Yeah. That is the reason why no governments have taken action. And I'm not even using the word alleged. Okay? I'm not using the word alleged. There are, what, how many? 43 international centers, Oracle International Centers, right? Across the world, collecting donations. Rerouting money to Oroville, not only through Oroville Foundation, but for so far they've been rerouting donations to uh, you know Orovillians directly, who have been investing in their own uh, escapades and uh, Disneyland's whatever they want to do. Okay, and the only clarity and reason why I see that a government does not take action, no matter how much of facts are there, is only because they have to protect this. Can you explain? Now, you have 43 uh, international channel, in, international, uh, you know, uh, uh, Orville international, Orville international centers. centers. You don't know how much donation they are collecting. You don't know how much they are giving to Orville. You don't know where the money is going. They also claim to have uh, withhold 10% of that donation, which they are collecting internationally as their administrative fees. And I have also seen that most of them have not filed their own income taxes in their own countries. And now my recently my RTI was simple, okay, uh, Orville International collects donations, you know, uh, showing, uh, you know, poor villagers and educating villagers. And what is their problem if they show their annual accounts? And now there is a big ruckus, oh, EVI, oh, we cannot show our accounts. I mean, what? I mean, I'm not saying you're bad, I'm not saying you don't have goodwill, just show your accounts, right? And like if I talk about forensic audit, everyone freaks out. What is the problem? If I'm not saying you're bad, just do a forensic audit of land and economics. And that is what they do not want. So if a person, if a government does not want something which is very, very logical, very, very crystal clear, then there's certainly something very, very wrong. Not only the government, but also those people who claim to be servitors of the divine, who claim to be funding this project for the mother and Sri Aurobindo. And it is an insult if they even talk about the mother. They cannot come out clean. Please explain the Hawala channel. Explain the Hawala channel. Yeah. <laughs> what is the Hawala channel? Tell me. What is the Hawala channel according to you? I have heard this phrase so many times and I really uh -huh. want to understand how is Auroville facilitating this Hawala channel. Auroville institution is facilitating it by not taking action. Not even coming out clear with your accounts. That's it. They are protecting fugitives, criminals and economic offenders. These are big words, Vikram. It's not big words, it's true. And I'm not even using the word alleged, right? The facts are crystal clear. We have so many evidences of uh, international donation fraud. We have uh, evidence of one person soliciting um, uh, you know, donations from, one per uh, from a foreigner saying that you, know, you can buy land in India just by donating and that donor actually feels so, right? And he also goes and cheats the donor and registers the land in his own name. This is just an example, there are so many of them. And when so many such examples come, all I'm saying crystal clear is okay, everybody is clean, do a forensic audit. Why is, why is that so scary for you all? You mean to say the Aurovillians are soliciting the foreign organizations that they are going to purchase lands on behalf of them? Of course, I'm not just saying it is there, right in front of your face. Not one, not two, various examples. All I'm saying is do a forensic audit and they've been running away from that. Do you have evidences? Of course, it's all there, in all our files, everything is sure? there.